A psychology textbook will tell you that about 1%, or 1 in 100 people on this earth, have OCD. I happen to be one of those 1 in 100, and have been my entire life. I was obsessed with perfect grades as soon as they started assigning grades, constantly feared my thoughts or actions would lead to someone's death, and I'm still uncomfortably afraid of pesticides. What this one in a hundred statistic means though, is OCD is rarer than most people think. If you ask someone walking along the street about OCD, most everyone will say, oh, I have that too, or my friend has that. She likes to color coordinate her notes and can't stand when the TV volume is on an odd number. Now when I hear this, I first tense up. The automatic reaction from hearing your illness misunderstood so many times. Then I breathe, breathe again, and explain that what you're talking about isn't really OCD. You enjoy color coordinating. What you're feeling about the TV volume is annoyance. People with OCD feel annoyance too, and I can tell you that feels very different from what OCD feels like. Anytime I used to turn off a light, I would be flooded with thoughts and images of the building burning down because of me. I knew this was ridiculous, but the stress felt so intense it didn't matter. So I'd spend 10 minutes just trying to turn off a light correctly until it felt safe. If OCD is a matter of one in a hundred, you probably don't mean OCD. You mean clean, organized, particular. Now I don't mean to frame having OCD as some special exclusive club everyone's trying to get into. My whole point is you don't want to be in this club. It's scary all the time. But aside from being scary, it can also be lonely. In a room of a hundred people, you might be the only one. Even in mental health focus groups where the odds are a little skewed, you still might be the only one with OCD. At support groups, mental health club meetings, even shows like this, I become the girl with OCD. I'm the girl that counts and taps and ritualizes. And while I think all people with mental illness experience can relate to one another, it's not quite the same. I can empathize with people with depression or generalized anxiety. OCD comes with those too, bonus. But almost every day of my life, I'm surrounded by people who can't fully understand what it's like to have OCD, although they can try to learn more and empathize. They can't feel what it's like to be stuck rereading a sentence in a textbook over and over and over 15 times because you can't believe you understood it. They can't feel what it's like to be curled in a ball on the floor for two hours sobbing just because someone touched something in your room. So sometimes I feel lonely. The girl with OCD. But one of my favorite things to think about is, what would happen if you put 100 people with OCD in a room? Now there are 100 out of 100 people with OCD. Can you imagine what that would feel like? I'm lucky to say that I can. These rooms jam-packed with counters, tappers, hand washers really exist through the International OCD Foundation. Every summer they put on a conference, affectionately called OCDCon. It's even a super trendy hashtag if you want to look up pictures after the show. And at this conference, hundreds of people with OCD, their family, friends, therapists and psychologists who specialize in OCD, we all gather together for a weekend. And over this weekend long conference, we go to sessions to learn more about OCD, how it's treated, how to manage it, the latest book that's come out. But what's more important is we find the other one in a hundred. You meet others who have the exact same weird fear you thought no one else had, or they do the same ritual as you, just to feel a little calmer. You can walk into a room at the conference, take a few seconds to look around, and know that every single one in that room understands how you're feeling and what you're going through. Every single one of that hundred. Nothing feels like that. You make friends at this conference you'll have for a lifetime. You count down the days until you can see them at the next year's conference and the next. You even present together in a session. You laugh with these new friends. You cry and hug people you met a day ago. You stay up until 2 a.m. just talking. You encourage and support each other towards recovery, always having each other's backs. Because they understand. And at the OCD conference, 
You are no longer one in a hundred. I'm no longer the girl with OCD. When everyone has OCD and is ritualizing and is scared and is just a little socially awkward, no one has OCD. You become yourself. I become Morgan, the scientist, the reader, the dancer, the friend, and everything else I am inside. Thank you.